the I Believe series, we're gonna be talking about this little green thing sitting right here beside of me. And although maybe yours is a little bit bigger, I think we can all agree that one of the most important decorations and aspects of the Christmas season in our tradition is Christmas trees themselves. So let's get into it. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. We're going to start with a short history on the Christmas tree. And the Christmas trees, they, they weren't Christmas trees at the time, but these evergreen trees, they go back really far. In fact, in the old, old days, we would have had Egyptians and we would have had uh, Vikings. We would have had people like them who used these for various reasons. Some of them, they believed that like evil spirits and illnesses and diseases, they would be kept away from their homes because of these evergreen plants. And the Egyptians actually believed that they represented an eternal life, even though they were looking from a standpoint of a pagan god. And so I'm wanting to look into a little bit of what many believe, and that is that Martin Luther is, was actually the first to put on lights onto the Christmas tree. In fact, committed Christians in Germany in the 16th century were the ones to actually come up with the Christmas tree that we know today, the one that may just be sitting in your living room. And so, to continue on with this, many Americans had a hard time uh, accepting the Christmas tree. They, they really weren't on board with it. But now today, we have every one of the 50 states uh, growing Christmas trees, and in fact, since the 18th century, we've been selling them in this country. So, I think today it's safe to say that this little green thing here is a huge part of the Christmas tradition, and it really means a lot to people. But I want to make a point that I believe God has laid on my heart, and I believe that He wants to speak to you, and that is because of Jesus, I believe that you are a Christmas tree. Now, maybe not this little green Christmas tree that walks around all day with all these little green things sticking out from your head and everything. That's not, that's not the case. But I want to make known a point to you, I think through this verse here, Matthew 5, chapter, or verses 14 through 16, and this is what Jesus is saying. He says, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine forth for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. Because of Jesus, you should light up any place into which you go. You should be the light in the midst of darkness. Be an example of Christ's obedience and know that it carries on to others. I mean, lights, they can, you know, you can have all the darkness surrounding and you just have one light, one Christmas tree, and it lights up the darkness. It shines out and it encourages, it sparks a light in other people because that's what Christmas trees do. And that's what I believe Jesus is wanting us to do. And this is why, because Christmas trees, they shine in the midst of darkness. They light up the setting. They're encouraging. They change the mood. So just like a Christmas tree, I believe Jesus wants us to do things like this. So think of another reason why I believe that we are Christmas trees. And the second reason has to do with the setting of a Christmas tree. Because I want you to think about maybe not this one. This is getting kind of you know out of style now. We're kind of getting to the point now where we're talking about a big enormous Christmas tree that is the biggest decoration and it takes up the most space. And so if you are anything like my family, it is like one of the first decorations that we unpacked and it sets the scene. It's like a centerpiece and it's exciting to put a Christmas tree up. But I want to encourage you with a truth today that I believe will, will make sense after I say something that I believe God has really wanted me to point out today to you. So I want to look at this verse from Romans. Let's look at this. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the second reason that I'm really wanting you to know why you are a Christmas tree is that I want you to remember this. Set the setting before the setting sets you. 
set the setting before the setting sets you. If a Christmas tree isn't the first thing to be put up, you know, there's just, there might not be room for it. It's going to be ineffective. It's not going to be everything that it can be. It's going, it's, it's not going to be what God intended for you to be. You aren't if you don't set the setting before the setting sets you. So don't let the world take what you were supposed to be and insult it and make it something less. So don't let people change you for the negative. Take your place, set your setting before those around you cause you to take an ineffective and ungodly position. And take your place before the world gives you a place. You are meant to be a Christmas tree. You are made to make a difference. You're made to be a light. You're made to set a setting that maybe everybody else doesn't agree with and may not be as common around you as you wish it was. But I promise you that you are a difference maker. Stand out. Be a Christmas tree this Christmas season and even after. God bless you guys. We'll be back next week. Hey.